I'm gonna show you how to create an AutoCAD dynamic block light fixture so you can work as efficiently as possible and we are starting Hi, I'm the Lazy Architecto Welcome to a new video on AutoCAD blocks that save time AutoCAD dynamic blocks contain rules and restrictions that controls the appearance of a block. You can add these restrictions to any new or existing block. So let's create our new AutoCAD. To start, use the rectangle command by typing REC and pressing enter. Click the first point, type D to specify a dimension and go ahead and type 2 feet and 4 feet. Now click one more time on your screen to finalize your rectangle. Let's rotate this rectangle using the RO shortcut for rotation and let's move it right here. Next Let's use the offset command by typing O and enter and specify 2 inches and enter. Now that you have your rectangle for your light block, let's select it and type the block command to convert this series of polylines into an AutoCAD block. Specify your new name for your dynamic block, in this case a light fixture, and press OK. Finally click here to specify the base point for your new block. Now double click on it and press OK. Here you are inside the block editor in AutoCAD, so what you need to do now is convert this regular block into a dynamic block. So to do this, you're going to use the authoring palette. So click on your ribbon to access it. As you can see, it's right here. Let me move it and arrange it over here so you can see better. The first thing that you're going to do here is add a parameter for this block. Click the visibility parameter once and click again here on your screen to place it. As you can see an icon shows now with this exclamation mark and this basically means that there is a parameter that needs an action. If you see here on your ribbon, the visibility states it's on now. Go ahead and use the VV state command to open the visibility state dialog box. As you can see here, let's rename this first visibility and this would be the regular light fixture so let's type in regular then you click new to add a emergency light fixture for this simply click leave visibility of existing objects click ok and right now we have two different visibilities regular and emergency as you are seeing it. So go ahead and select the regular. You can also do it by typing V V state and select this and set current. As you can see it's grayed out because regular is the current visibility right now. So Next, we're going to add a linear parameter for this light. 
Next, we're going to add a attribute definition to this live fixture dynamic block. So go ahead and go to your ribbon and click you can also use ATTD shortcut to insert an attribute definition. Here on the attribute definition dialog box, you'll have the following options. What I like to do here is simply type a simply type a two-word phrase to keep it simple. So for this I'll just use EX which means existing. Here in, here in the justification I'll pick middle center and on the textile I'll choose Verdana. But you can pick your own but you can pick your finally for the text height I'll choose 7 inches. Now click anywhere inside your dynamic AutoCAD block for the moment and here I'm gonna use the line command to draw a simple line like so and move it around 3 inches. Again, I'll draw a second line here and move it from the bottom up 4 inches. This would be useful to place your text exactly where it works. Remember that this text is going to be rotated if you need it, so that's what it works for me. You can remove your lines now. And the next step for your dynamic AutoCAD block is to add to add a the linear parameter from your authoring palette. Click here on your base point and then click over here. Finally, click on your screen to place it. Again, let's use the linear parameter. Select your first point here, second point over here, and finally a third click over here. Now select these two linear parameters, type PR to open the properties palette. Let's arrange this palette over here so you can see better. And what you're gonna find here is number of grips. Go ahead and change it to one. Let me move it over here. And if you see your dynamic block now, you can see that there is only one grip per parameter and this is what we need. Next, let's add a action, a stretch action by clicking on it and click this parameter. Next, go ahead and specify a parameter point which is right here, click and then select the area to be stretched, finally select the objects to be stretched which are all of these ones and press enter. As you can see a exclamation mark got removed but we still have one from this other parameter. So now select this linear parameter and in your property palette, go ahead and click the distance type from none to list. 
click here to add more distances to this dynamic block let's say two feet and we already have four feet so let's do eight feet this time because these are standard sizes for light fixtures let's apply the same so select it and change the distance type to list now click here and let's add a one feet distance now this linear parameter still has the exclamation mark and this simply means that it needs an action so let's add the stretch action to this linear parameter so go to your authoring palette click this stretch select this parameter specify the parameter point then select the area to be stretched do not include the text here finally select the objects to be stretched the exclamation mark is now gone next let's use the wipeout command and press enter type p to specify a polyline and select this one say no to not erase the polyline as you can see the wipeout was created however you need to use the wipeout frame command or system variable to turn the wipeout frame on so use it wipe out frame enter type 1 enter as you can see the wipeout is showing this time so select it let's send this wipeout to the back by using the draw order command so type dr enter and v enter to send it to the back now let's select everything by typing ctrl a on your keyboard then holding shift deselect this and then select it again now move everything using the m command or move command 10 feet to the right and as you can see the wipeout was left here the reason we do this is to avoid a AutoCAD glitch which is a wipeout showing in front of your blocks. Now we can select everything using Ctrl A again, press Shift or hold Shift and deselect this wipeout. Then move back to the left 10 feet now we'll never have the issue of wipeouts showing in front of our blocks what we are going to do next is test your new dynamic block to see if everything is working correctly till now so click test block on your ribbon and if you stretch this grip you can see that it works nicely However, the wipeout is not stretching with the block. So let's quickly fix this. Close the test block. And make sure the wipeout frame is on by setting it up to 1. Click this stretch icon, click action selection set and modify selection. Make sure specify the same area to be stretched. Make sure the add option is down on your command line and select the elements to be stretched and press enter. 
let's apply the same procedure click modify selection set select the same area to be stretched make sure add is showing in your command line and select these objects to be stretched which now include the wipeout so let's test this block let me stretch this grip and as you can see the wipeout is now associated with this dynamic block awesome let's close the block editor and what you are going to do next is to add a point parameter to this attribute definition so click on it and then click here in the center of your attribute finally click to the right next let's add a move action to this parameter so click move click this parameter and then select the object which is the attribute finally press enter as you can see we just added a move parameter to this block so let's test it awesome our dynamic autocad light block is working nicely this time oops the move parameter it's not associated with the stretch action so let's close this and let's fix it select this stretch action and modify selection set let's click the same area to be stretch and make sure add it's down on your command line and select the objects including the move point next let's add a new parameter this time a rotation parameter so click on it click here in the center of your attribute and click one more time here to the right the rotation would be zero and press enter as you can see this has a, an exclamation mark because it needs an action so go to the action and click rotation select this parameter select the attribute and press enter so let's quickly test our rotation parameter for this attribute if we click on it and move it down we can see that our attribute rotates nicely awesome let's close the block editor select the rotation parameter and change the angle name to text rotation this way when you are using your dynamic light fixture block you you would be able to recognize and rotate your text easily now we are done with this dynamic block light fixture for the regular option now let's quickly finish the emergency light fixture so type vs state in your command line and press enter select the emergency option and choose set current now we are on the emergency visibility state for this dynamic block let's type bv mode and press enter set that to one and press enter again as you can see all of the options or objects from our dynamic block are showing this time so let's use the wipeout frame command 
and set it to 1. Next, use Control A in your keyboard and use the BV Show command following by O. These steps were done to reuse the same parameters and options and actions from our regular block or regular dynamic block to this new emergency block. So let's use PL and enter to draw a polyline for our emergency light. As you can see, we just draw a triangle. Let's use the hatch command by typing H and enter. And make sure on your ribbon, click the associative option. And select your triangle and press enter. Now let's test this dynamic block. Let's change to emergency. And if we stretch this grip, we can see that the hatch is also associated. Great. Let's quickly test the other parameters and actions. All of them are working correctly and nicely. So let's close the test block and we are basically done. So use the B close command and press enter and then click save the changes to this AutoCAD block. Here in model space, type ATT sync and press enter. Click select and select your light fixture and click yes. This will update your attribute definition in this dynamic block. So if you double click on it, you can specify a value for your attribute definition. Let's change to the emergency light fixture. Now we can place it in our ceiling plan. Now, I'm going to show you how powerful your AutoCAD dynamic block light fixture is with these two examples. First, let's say for instance that you want to rotate your entire ceiling plan. To rotate all of your dynamic light fixtures block, simply use T orient and press enter. Select all of your lights and press enter again. Click a first point here and then a second point over here. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe and let me know in the comments if it was useful or by giving the thumbs up because without that I have no way of knowing if you found this video useful. And this is how you save time in AutoCAD. Remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video. I'll see you here next week.